for a patient with relapse and refractory AML, the outcomes currently are dismal. Um, there is uh, some uh, studies that have looked at the population of cells in these patients and there are complexities like clonal evolution and uh, um, clonal selection which even makes uh, these uh, patients less amenable to traditional cytotoxic and I really think uh, we are going to move away from just giving these patients high doses of uh, uh, cytotoxics uh, perhaps with the exception of those patients who have a very long first remission duration um, and we are going to incorporate um, these novel agents to try to find better strategies for these patients. I think the most important way to deal with uh, relapse and refractory AML is to try to prevent it from occurring and this is where minimal residual disease monitoring and eradicating minimal residual disease becomes important.